Good morning, guys. It's a glorious, glorious, glorious sunny, day. sunny day. No clouds in the sky. Um, so today we're in Rabat, or to be quite precise, right next to Andina. Yeah. And we're going to go check somewhere out where we haven't been before. It's true. Rabat is one of the one of Malta's uh, towns that is full of history. I think you can't even do it in one day if you start going around. <laughs> no, it's too big. <laughs> we are here, so Dina is here, and there is the Roman villa there, which we're not going to go today. Villa. But today we are going to go to St. Paul's Catacombs. Uh, I've actually never been there before, amazingly enough. She lived here all her life. Yes, but it's, uh, I have never been here. <laughs> there, actually. Yeah, we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna go see um, what it is. Yeah. Well, we know what it is, but we know what it is because we made a little bit of a research on it, and it looks quite interesting. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been discovered in the 1800s, so let's see. I'm gonna see. <laughs> see you there. So once you've brought your ticket, you can go into the visitor center. You can also experience the audio visual, which gives you a bit of history regarding the site moving on into the main centre where there are archaeological finds which were brought up from the catacombs themselves. Yeah. When entering the visitor centre also you will find some human remains that were recovered at the site. Um, one being a female and I believe two were from children. Inside the visitor centre you'll also find beading, pottery and other artefacts found within the burial chambers. Also within the visitor centre you'll find a display of a full burial with descriptive terms of how you could have been buried should you have died in that time. Once you finish, Equi, sorry. Uh, once you finish within the main museum, museum, it was museum, yeah. Yes, it was a museum. museum. Okay. You come out into like a garden area, a walk area, and you have two paths you can go down. Obviously, we've come to the catacombs because we wanted to check the catacombs out. And currently behind us, and all around us actually, we're currently in the main hall. And here there's like lots of different, there are still, different, different yeah. things in different areas. There are still the shapes where the pillars used to stand. Yeah, decorative because pillars. This was a decorative hall for when they entered the tomb. And we are completely surrounded by tombs, makes uh -huh. us wonder how small these people were because the tombs are quite small. But they're only eco people. I don't know, there's there's something about being in a place this old, you know, it's just been here for centuries. I love it. It's amazing. You'll see like some of the, if you've been to some of the other sites here in Malta and even over in Gozo, they still have even in here the ship's graffiti. I'm gonna find some hopefully. Mm -hmm. Although, um, even though we have been going through museums for quite a while, this is the first one that I can say I have been impressed on how they they they, they shown the jewelry. The how jewelry. they keep everything oh, here my is goodness, phenomenal. The jewelry is shown really really well, and we're going to show it to you. Yeah. <laughs> Out of breath a little bit, but you don't yes. realize how big this place is till you actually go down. 
and there's more than one catacomb. We went into two of them. Mm -hmm. We went into the main one and we went into number four, I think. Number three, because number, number four. Number three, was sorry, closed, yeah. Number yes. four and number two are currently closed. But believe me, just going into these first two, yes. you get like a, a real sense of what effort they must have gone into to do and these burials. How long it must have taken them to. Incredible. Because in the big one, as you will see from video, it, it actually housed hundreds of, of bodies um, that were there. And the Phenom from, from small children to, 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 to adults to couples. Yes. Well, we're saying couples. Because I mean, some were big enough to to uh, fit two people. Actually, there were like the head pieces. Um, uh, like, little, yes. yeah, like little, so, little, so little we, pillows that you have at home. They have like a little uh, pillow. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's incredible to be in a place that has been um, here for such a long so time. And it's so well preserved. Incredibly preserved. Yes, um, it's uh, good to mention as well that people that are a bit claustrophobic might uh -huh. want to just uh, stay in the... Um, yeah, if, if I mean, if you're someone that's claustrophobic or if you don't know that you're claustrophobic, um, first and foremost, they have safety precautions downstairs. They have panic buttons everywhere because there are some corridors which are quite narrow. Um, so just know that if you happen to have a panic you can uh, just push one of the buttons um, the speakers down there so you leave yeah. and get to speak to the person on the other end so they can help calm you and then I mean we hadn't don't have to do it but <laughs> I presume someone will either come down or they'll guide you as to how to get out I'm sure I'm sure they will I'm sure that somebody will come down to be fair <laughs> hey and I had to bow my head a little yeah, bit yeah she feels good <laughs> now because she actually had to go like this <laughs> yes because even uh, certain entries were really really uh -huh. small um, they are, I'm assuming that they are still working on it because certain pe certain places you couldn't access. Mm -hmm. um, but it is worth the visit. It's but it's phenomenal. I honestly, I mean, I, I I was looking forward to seeing it, just because, as you guys know, we love our history. Um, but to see it to that extent, yes, that is just big well whoa. done uh, to the Malta heritage for keeping it the way the upkeep of it is immensely um, well kept and also the light that they have done uh, it's uh, perfectly uh, lit that, that it, 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 it creates such an ambience of death really because it was uh, it gives, gives, you, gives you the same sort of feel as if you were actually yes. going down there to either experience a burial or, a burial, or you're yes. down there you know it, 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 the lighting is not too harsh, it's nice, mm -hmm. what you see in the video. Um, but it's enough to give you that atmospheric feel mm -hmm. when you're down there. Yes, exactly. Um, it's not exactly very big, I mean like two hours would be more, enough to, yes. to, more than enough to go through the history. There is also um, one behind us here, Come which will show two, a movie. Two hours, and, bit, that's yeah, what you need. Two hours, and uh, we paid uh, six, six euros per person to come so in 12 and visit. euros? Yes. But they also have family um, discounts and uh -huh. also the students. And they discount. also do a heritage discount if you're if you're. We were actually looking forward to that one, but being the restrictions are still in place and they are being a little bit um, starting over. Mm -hmm. We were looking forward for the package. Yes. Where you get a package and uh, over ticket, and then you can visit certain Malta heritage uh -huh. sites. But just at the moment, it's a little bit up and down just due to the pandemic. Um, obviously it's not open every single site mm -hmm. in fact this one just opened up on the 10th I think on the 10th of May yes in uh -huh. fact it's just uh, we didn't actually... so literally it's been open for four days yes this. and we actually only ran into two other people that yeah, were unfortunately that were but if, if you're touristing here you if have you, to make in it. your you like your history apart from the world war although even this was part of the war uh, war effort mm -hmm. because uh, the catacombs here uh, during the war, they were used as air raid shelters, if I remember rightly. Yes, yes, yes. I was just looking at uh, that uh, actually. They, was, it, they actually used to use them as air raid shelters. So this has gone from <laughs> such <laughs> before Roman times, Roman times. Yes. Then yes. through the I wars. Don't think, I don't think it was ever a happy place, unfortunately. No. But. I'm thankful that we get to experience it. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I love history I think, and I think I'm really thankful. Just that having time to appreciate yes, yes, the actual yes. effort that, not like now, 
where everything's done machined mm -hmm. and it's all ready. This is all done by hand. By all hand, by hand. Yes, yes, yes. And the, and the That's when phenomenal. You see, I'm when sorry. You see about the, the, the graffiti that was still When from, you think from about it, it's absolutely phenomenal. So, how do we rate this place? A hundred out of ten, definitely. Uh -huh. so definitely one that you should <laughs> visit if you're coming to for Malta, sure. even if you're even living here you're in Malta. Even if you're local, yes, like me, and I came for today for the very first time. Again, thank you Malta Heritage for um, giving this place a really good vamp and keeping it the, the way it is. Um, do come and see it. Do come and appreciate actually our heritage, yes. Yes, important part of your life. Yes, very, very true. Without these people that done all this, we wouldn't have been here. No, exactly. Thing. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah. if you are in Rabat, there is also a lot of things to mm -hmm. see apart from this. There are churches, there's a medina, there's a lot of things to see here. So there is a good way of spending a very good you day could, here. You could, you could spend a couple of days here yes, in Rabat, yes, yes, easy, yes. if not a week, if not more. <laughs> there's lots of little hidden sites. There's lots of sites off the beaten track. There's the, the known sites like what we're in now. Um, but I think Rabat is probably one of the most yes. that has so many diverse mm -hmm. history, like ridiculously, from, from Medina itself being the old capital of Malta. To be fair, just walking around Rabat is just beautiful. Phenomenal. It is, it is beautiful indeed. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to leave you here. Because just adjusting her mask. Yes, because... Oh, I'm never going to get used to this, but... Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna leave you here i hope that you have enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed doing it because we love these these places and hopefully this also comment sorry comment down below should we do more heritage motor sites i was just gonna i was just gonna say uh -huh. that this is the first heritage malta site that we have visited hopefully there is one in mind that I would like to take you we guys have, we to. We have a couple yeah. that in mind now. After, after seeing how well this is being kept and how well and detailed information that they give yes. the, the visitors. And, and to be honest, for the way it's being kept, it's really not expensive. Six euros per person to come in. That's so. ridiculously priced. Yes, huh? yes, yes, yes. Okay, guys, so we see you. Please don't forget to ring the bell. Hang on. And subscribe to the channel. I almost messed it up. <laughs> this side, subscribe down here. And we shall see you next time. Bye.